Uh, we're in a three-year rotation. Uh, we grow corn, beans, and soft red winter wheat. And uh, <clears throat> the corn usually follows the soft red winter wheat and maybe sometimes after soybean. The rotation is more like 40%, 40%, 20%, so we never have enough wheat out to put all of our corn after wheat. But uh, <clears throat> in that situation, we usually do some primary tillage, some secondary tillage, and then we plant. And <clears throat> the corn and the beans are no-tilled. Uh, the beans are no-tilled into last year's uh, corn stalks. Excuse me, I didn't mean the corn, I meant the beans and the wheat. The uh, beans are no-tilled into last year's uh, corn stalks with a no-till drill, and the wheat is no-tilled into the bean crop that just recently harvested. Okay, the corn just goes to a country elevator, and <clears throat> they may ship some of it to an ethanol plant, which is only a few miles from here, but we don't sell directly to the ethanol plant. So, of course, what goes to the ethanol plant is used for ethanol, and uh, what stays at the local elevator, some of it's used for feed, or they may ship to some other elevators that's used for feed for livestock. Uh, <clears throat> the wheat is usually sold through the local elevator, and normally it moves in the, in the winter time then, directly off of our farm. We have farm storage, and it moves from the farm storage to small millers, uh, most of them within a 100-mile radius. But this year things were extremely different because of the problem we had with uh, the wheat and it had head scab in it, which uh, promoted the mycotoxin, vomitoxin, and the wheat was not of milling quality because of the toxin. The uh, level of the uh, vomitoxin was greater than the tolerance level to be milled for wheat for human consumption. So we again, we worked through the local elevator, but it went to uh, a regional elevator where uh, it was going to be shipped to another area of the country, probably to be blended uh, in with corn for feed for livestock, probably poultry.